Forsyth, Mark Atherton. <laughs> We, we got you due back in uh, October time uh, before the trip to Australia, and I've got a terrible feeling that I bear a lot of responsibility here, Mike. Um, we have obtained exclusive footage from Australia of just how much you were distracted by the gotcha and you were thinking of me. Welcome to the uh, 1995 Ashes. It uh, really is a glorious sunny day. I know how to handle this. I'll imagine every ball's got Noel Edmund's picture on it. <laughs> oh! Lovely shots. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Oh, no. Big shout down the leg side. Oh, why did I think of that? Again. That kangaroo reminded me of Noel Edmonds. <laughs> Just let it lie. It wasn't my fault. You'll do better with a gotcha hanging over your head. That twit Noel Edmonds. There he is in that chair. That... Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. <laughs> I felt so sorry for you. I imagine sitting on that flight back from Australia thinking, oh, I've got to go and see all that as well. You were very, very good about telling us about Arctic life. <laughs> uh, we've learned a lot. Did I, you learn a lot? I'd forgotten all about it for four months and yeah. all the bad memories came from Well, here back. they come. Brace yourself. Because we've learned about uh, life in the Amazon with Judith Chalmers and now you're going to learn absolutely nothing about Arctic life. But Mike Atherton is going to learn a thing or two. Guess where I am? I'll give you a clue. What I just did meant greeting an Eskimo. Yes, we're in the Arctic Circle, one of the coldest places on Earth. Now today in Eskimo life, we're going to show you how Eskimos live and work in the harsh environment. But first, let's meet Jim Dawkins, a scientist who spent the last three years studying these people. Hello, Jim. Hello, Mike. Well, if I hadn't seen you for some time, I'd probably go like this. Sorry, I can't, um... I can't, uh... Actually, speak. <laughs> they would lay fish across the cracks in the earth to stop the gods from coming through. They would then trust in the gods to make sure that they didn't trip down a crevasse. They'd be chanting things like, Um League, the said na, Agvi. League? Said na. Said na. Agvi. Stood on the <laughs> penguin. <laughs> Sorry. For example, they would do something to make themselves as uncomfortable as possible to try and appease the gods. So you would literally roll from one side to the other. That's right. And by this stage, they would be completely freezing. Watch the cables here. All right, if, if, any more, any more if you could come so over here. Harry, watch where we're walking. Oops, please. Cable well, there. That's here. it. If you go around the back here. Forward, please. If the powerful spirits were ever angry, then the Eskimos lived in fear of them, uh, bringing forth um, the Narvig, which was a dreadful um, uh, legendary beast which lived in the area. Eskimo legend has it that um, nobody who's ever seen the Narvig has ever um, lived to tell the tale. Seems <laughs> so a fearful creature. Yes, indeed. So the answer is such a nice place to live. Right, yeah. OK, well, what it would do, it would make ferocious noises. And it would it would probably make um, some sort of what hunting, sort of growling or. or... Well, it'd, be, it'd be pretty threatening. Eskimo legend has it that anybody who's ever seen an RV has died instantly, has never lived to tell the tale. Quite conveniently, but um, it's a very. Nice... <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. Remember that face, he's still smiling at that point, but the secret of a good gotcha is the pace that you then start to turn the screw. And it does start to get very, very silly now. Uh, snowshoes that are tennis rackets and fishing for a fish and not a fish comes up. Drilling in the ice with a DIY drill. I it all. And then the polar bear. Just watch his face. The language at the end is... What do they call it? Well, it's ayagak, but its literal translation is flat fish with fish oil. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> 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 There's 
There's no way I'm going to be able to get out of there. <laughs> so with this ice drill, I'm going to make a start. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think it's going to make a hole, though. Sorry, the polar bear shouldn't be in this shot. I've just been told that I should be in this shot. Well, you, well you're not now, if you don't mind. Thank you. Have we got a hammer, someone? Yet another authentic Eskimo tool. I think I've found a good spot here, so with this hammer, I'm going to make a start. I think I've got a bit of a nibble here, feeling a bit of a pull. Hang on. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just people. stay right off the set for a minute? Thank Let's you. keep it moving now, people, please. <laughs> Before I can set off on my fishing expedition, I have to use the whale grease on any exposed parts of the skin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a fine fish. Now all I've got to do is get back to the igloo. That was great. Well done. What might look like an innocent mound of snow could be the most fearsome Arctic predator, the polar bear. Now a hungry polar bear can easily outrun a man on the ice. So I try to avoid attack by using traditional Eskimo methods. Firstly, I know he's hungry, so I'm going to try to, to divert the bear by throwing a few wet fish at him. Yeah, there's a, there's a slight fluff on the hungry bear bit. Oh, don't worry, I'll bleed to death here. You get his lines right. <laughs> the most fearsome Arctic predator, the polar bear. Now, a hungry polar bear can easily outrun a man on the ice. So I try to avoid attack using traditional Eskimo methods. He's hungry, so I'm going to try and divert the bear by throwing a few wet fish at him. <laughs> Work, so now... <laughs> what happened then? I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. We're just sort of sad. Now, a hungry polar bear could easily outrun a man on the ice. So I'm trying to... <laughs> is to try and ward off attack by using a swaying dance, known in Eskimo as a naglutang. This confuses the bear and gives me time to escape. Finally, before that fails, an Eskimo has to wrestle with the bear using a form of self-defense called umlak. These thick clothes will protect me for a short time, but I have to give the, the bear a heavy blow on the nose. <laughs> Wrestle with. Yeah, not too much though. Just take it easy. I hope you enjoyed this look at Eskimo life. <laughs> well, as I'm out here, I may as well make another fish offering to the spirits before the Narvig wakes up. Aye, right. aye, here he comes. I hope he likes the fish. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>